Hi, here's Mario Biltrips back again with another video about poles, ancient poles, pole shifts, crustal deformations, and of course, the expanding Earth. Today in this video, I'd like to talk about LiDAR scans. And not just LiDAR scans. These are LiDAR scans that are done over the jungle of Guatemala, Mexico, and specifically the Yucatan Peninsula. What is so special about these scans? Well, when you fly over these jungle areas, you only see jungle. You see nothing. Just forest trees and some city towns scattered along this vast stretch of jungle. But what engineers have done, they have constructed a system that can scan what is beneath the jungle, beneath the soil of the jungle even. And it looks like this. And this. And this. And this. This. And this. Amazing, isn't it? One thing that stands out particularly is when you look for orientation, you see they are all, without exception, clockwise oriented. And if you know where the ancient poles are that I have discovered, you will notice they are almost, without exception, exactly oriented to these ancient poles. Or this pole, or this one, or this one. Sometimes even the oldest pole I have discovered, pole 5, it's this one. Now, we all know that in Mexico and Guatemala and Yucatan there are lots of ancient sites to visit and to discover. We know this. They are scattered all over Mexico. And this whole peninsula of, uh, you know, Guatemala and so on. But what we didn't know before these scans were done, there are tens of thousands of cities hidden in the jungle we didn't know of. How is that possible? How is it possible that no one ever knew this? No stories, no legends, no myths. Of course, there are myths about lost cities, cities of gold, and you know this. Something similar is just recently discovered in the Amazon forest. LiDAR scanning is very intensive and costs a lot of time and money and, you know, you need to use a plane and every plane hour is expensive, so they have to meticulously scan an area in a sort of grid and it requires some, some, some skills of the pilot, of course, and of the equipment and, and resources in counted in money, of course. But okay, this is what we uh, now are discovering. And by the way, the Amazon rainforest is, uh, you know, this deforestation. Of course, deforestation is not good. But what we discover is these kinds of things in the Amazon rainforest. What is that? They call this, they call them geoglyphs. Google for geoglyph Amazon. And you will be amazed. I have also a database about this, uh, of these geoglyphs and lots of structures in this. And they are oriented to ancient, very ancient poles, by the way. But okay, what is interesting about these LiDAR scans that I show here and here and here is that they are most of 
them are oriented to these poles I have discovered. So what is the probability that this is just coincidence? Mm -hmm. It's about this number, that this just collection that I just scanned, I take them randomly and I correlate them with the poles I discover there is no pattern, no correlation. Officially there is no relation between these two patterns, but the probability is this number you see here on the screen. It's an amazing high number. These LiDAR cities, I call them LiDAR cities, that are completely hidden under the canopy, not even canopy, under the soil of the canopy. So this, you have these structures, then you have a large layer, many feet of soil, and then you have trees and canopy. So this is why they are virtually invisible. What is interesting about them is that estimations, um, archaeologists, they, are, they think, they say, these cities are 2,000 years old. You know, you know these numbers. And they estimated that some cities, especially in the Guatemala rainforest, inhabited a few tens of millions of people in an area of the size of Mexico City. So imagine this. This is a very dense population. And tens of millions of people just living 2,000 years ago. There are, these are a lot of bones and skulls. Where are these skulls? There are never skulls found. So it's unlikely these cities are just 2,000 years old. And it's also unlikely when you look at it from the perspective of, of the poles, because these poles are dated uh, in the hundreds of thousands of years old with a probability of almost 100%. So the likelihood that these cities you're looking at, these scans, these lighter scans you're looking at, are 2,000 years old is almost 0%. And that is the reason why never seriously bones are found, because they are completely dissolved over time, of course, in hundreds of thousands of years. Not much bones will be left. I think you get my point. If you like to know more about my work, you know, you like to support it, please do so. I have a Patreon page where you can support my work. I'm not very active on my Patreon page because I have no time. I'm busy researching. I'm busy talking with my research partners over Zoom. I'm writing a book. I'm very, very busy. And I'm not the guy that likes to entertain you on my Patreon page. I'm sorry. But you can support my work. That's really important. And there are good supporters on my Patreon page. Yes, I'm very thankful to them. So I leave you with this note of wonder and mysteriousness. Wonder over the ancient world. We have had probably many, many more advanced civilizations before us that left hardly any traces, only in stone and, of course, in orientation. That is, orientation appears to be a very powerful tool when it comes to measuring the age of a structure. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.